Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to your Zoom class. How are you all? I am your teacher, Mr. Zwana. I am very happy to find you in my class. And uh, as a student in my class, I will, I will, I would like to see you all. So, students, as you know, that I'm uh, the class teacher of Ms. Rizwana, class teacher of three B, and uh, math teacher of all the three sections. Okay. So, I hope as a student with me, you will enjoy your class and you will learn a lot also. I'm very excited to see you all. Inshallah, very soon we will see each other. And um, we are going to start our math lesson. And again, I welcome you to welcome you to your Zoom class. Okay. As uh, before starting, I would again uh, like to tell my name. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Rizwana, math teacher. And uh, secondly, I would like to tell. Uh, I would like to discuss some rules with you, and some major points and important points with you. I am sure that you would have uh, prepared all the notebooks and books, but I want you to take care of these books and notebooks. Keep them neat and clean. Do your work very neatly. Do your work on time. And whenever you have some problem, you can ask me. Okay? But as you know, the books are our friends. So take care of your friends. Your book should, books should be neat and clean. Okay? Take care of them. Don't tear pages from them. And before your class starts, prepare all the things. Keep all the things ready with you, okay? So now, again, welcome to your Zoom class. And now I will tell you that we are going to start a very interesting topic, and that is Roman numbers. What does Roman mean? There was in olden times a country named Rome. Look at this one. It, it is the picture of olden times Rome. This marquee. These are these were in the Rome. There were many, many knights and kings and queens in Rome that at that time. And you know who invented Roman numerals? Rome, uh, Rome, Roman people. Roman people invented Roman numerals. And you would have seen them in watches, clocks, and sometimes on some buildings also. Very important point. Seven letters of English alphabets are used to write Roman numbers. What these letters are? I, V, X, L, C, T, and M. I is for one, V is for five, X is for 10, L is for 50, C for 100, D for 500, and M stands for thousand, but no symbol for zero. So students, in this level, you have to just use these three, but you should know them, okay? I is for one, V for five, and X for 10. These symbols will be used on this level in your class because you have to do the Roman numerals counting up to 20. There are some rules to write Roman numerals. Rule number one, repeating a symbol means addition. If you are going to, this is I, which stands for one. If you want to, if you're going to uh, write this uh, symbol again, you are repeating the symbol again. That means addition. One plus one, that is two. Again here, one plus one plus one will be three. We have to add them if we are going to repeat some symbol. But rule number two tells that a symbol can be repeated maximum three times. You cannot repeat this one symbol again. Only three times you can use it. After that, the symbol will, uh, the letter will be changed. Same here. This is, this stands for 10, 10, 10, and 10, 30. But you cannot write it again. Same for C and M. But we will discuss mainly these two. Rule number three. If there are two numbers, if the smaller number is on the left, look at this one. Bigger number is 10 and smaller number is 1. Bigger number is at the right hand side and smaller number is on the left hand side. So if the smaller number is on the left, it means subtraction. Means you will subtract 1 from 10. 10 minus 1, that will be 9. So I and X mean 9. But if the smaller number is on the right, look at this one. Now smaller number is on the right side and bigger number is on the left side. So that means addition. 10 plus 1. That is 11. 
so i x is 9 but x i is 11 okay rule number 4 if v is small there are two numbers two letters one stands for 10 and second stands for 5 because x is for 10 and v is for 5 now you can see that uh, v is the smaller number and v cannot be written on the left hand side this is wrong whenever v is written that is written after the bigger number okay v is always written after the bigger number don't write v before the bigger number never it that will be wrong so please keep these rules in your mind now some uh, revision of this one uh, this is one two eyes mean two three symbols three but now you are going to change first of all you are going to write smaller number i and then five so that means subtraction because the smaller number is on the left hand side so five minus one that will be four and v stands for five but here i is on the left hand side so five plus one six five plus two seven five plus three eight again now symbol is going to change nine will be written as i x because this is 10 and this is one and when the smaller number is on the left hand side you subtract 10 minus 1 will give you 9 x stands for 10 but x i mean smaller number is on the right hand side add them 10 plus 1 11 10 plus 2 12 10 plus 3 13 but now don't repeat this again because maximum three times you can repeat it now after 13 you have 14 so 10 plus 4 10 plus 4 4 is iv 10 plus 5 15 v is for 5 so 10 plus 5 15 10 plus 6 this is the 6 look here this is 6 vi is 6 this is 7 here this is 8 here with 10 9 here with 10 and now 20 means 2 times x and x 10 plus 10 20 i hope you will be clear about this now how to write the numbers look at this example this is 6 if you want to write 6 first of all you will write the symbol of 5 v v and i will mean 5 plus 1 that is 6 and 9 i x because 9 is nearest to 10 so first of all you will write the 1 and then you will write the 10 uh, greater number and then you will do subtraction 10 minus 1 as i have already told you so inshallah i hope that you will practice these and you will inshallah be very good in writing Roman numbers. So see you in the next lecture inshallah very soon. Stay safe and blessed at your home. And thank you so much to all of you. Allah Hafiz to all of you.